The third part of our show always comes out of the archives, and since we haven't been on a windjammer this summer, we thought we'd re-examine our trip on the schooner Heritage. Captain Doug and Linda Lee are unique among Maine captains as they are the only ones who skip for a boat that they designed and built themselves. And the heritage is a beauty. Come aboard the beautiful schooner Heritage with Captains Doug and Linda Lee. The Heritage looks like a 19th century coastal schooner, which is just what the Lees planned. They say they're lucky to be making their living by sailing a windjammer on the coast of Maine. Even luckier to have a uh, schooner we designed uh, and built and sailed too. That's pretty unique. Does anybody appreciate that, do you think? Uh, you, me, that's about it. <laughs> no, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of the people who come with us understand that. We're joining some other schooners headed for a clam bake on Cabbage Island. The Moore family has been running clam bake since 1989, and there's a festive feeling as the crew starts cooking everything up. Did you can eat all that? Oh, give it a hell of a good try. <laughs> <laughs> the Levitt family started the clam bakes in 1956 and ran them till 1989. This is Bob and Wayne Moore. When we decided to do it, I went down to Florida to see Ruth Levitt that used to do it. Yeah. She gave me the chowder recipe, the blueberry cake recipe, gave me some advice that I didn't listen to at first, and then I learned that she was absolutely right, so yeah. that we do it the same way she did it years ago. Yeah. And after running for 24 years, you know, I, I remember our first years, my God, she did this for 24 years, <laughs> and here it is, 26 years. All of Bob and Wayne's family have worked on the island, which is so named because of wild cabbages that used to grow here. Most Cabbage Island clam bake visitors have been here before, and this evening's event is part of Windjammer Days. The Booth Bay Chamber no longer runs Windjammer Days, and there's a pretty good feeling among the many volunteers who've stepped up to make the week-long event a successful kickoff to Booth Bay's summer season. We can't let it go. This is part of Booth Bay. It's a great thing in the early part of the year to bring tourists into the town. Do people actually live in Booth Bay Harbor? Or? Oh yeah, sure. Southport. Booth Bay Harbor, Booth, you know, it's, it's three communities. Yeah. And all work together, and it's a, it's a great feeling. The star of the show is Bob and Wayne's mother, 93-year-old Benny Alice. Usually she goes table to table, but with such a big crowd, she's behind the counter in the gift shop. Oh, I work seven days a week. Seven days a week? Seven days a week. I'm, that's pretty good. I think it is. Yes. I, think, I think it's very good. Yeah. But of course, I'm with family. Yeah. So that is it's, yeah. good for us. So it's your kids who run it? My oldest son owns the island. Yeah? So I get to work here. Guests are always charmed by Benny Alice. I'm a rebel. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. Are you really? And I married a Yankee. Yeah? And I came up here. Huh. He didn't like Texas. Too hot for him, I bet. Yeah, well, it was cold for me up here. And now everybody pull in, please. All too soon, it's time to head back to the Heritage. We put our seamanship skills to the test. Please, no jokes about the captain wanting to water ski. We make our way to the outer side of the ship, I think, so people can't see us board from shore. On board, they're starting to pull the anchor by using a donkey engine. The antique engine does the heavy lifting and was considered a modern convenience by sailors a century ago. The name donkey engine refers to the days when donkeys were used to hoist sails. Still, you gotta be careful. Tell Captain to stop! There's a lobster trap! Give me a friggin' boat hook! One more good one. Soon the buoy is free and we move on to find a place to anchor for the night. The Heritage has a modern design, featuring enough headroom to stand below deck, lots of skylights, showers, and a galley that seats all on board. Linda is whipping up a breakfast cake. This is blueberry buckle, made with Maine blueberries. You know those cute little ones? And we're going to put a nice topping on top here of cinnamon and sugar and butter. And then we're going to cook it. And I guess, I don't know where the name comes from, maybe because 
If you eat too much, you can't buckle your belt anymore. The next day is time for the parade of windjammers. It's a festive sight that brings hundreds, if not thousands, to the Booth Bay waterfront. Doug and Linda have every right to be proud of their vessel. They've been sailing schooners for 45 years. In fact, they raised their daughters on board the Heritage. They did fine. They knew when to go below. They would sit in the galley. They would help. They would uh, do what they were told. For the longest time, they couldn't go forward of the forward house without permission because we can't see them well enough up there. But they learned how to handle the sails and run the yawl boat and go aloft and um, meet some of the very best people in the country. The parade is a sight that is uniquely made. It's a celebration of our maritime history and a statement about family businesses, families that work hard together to build a life where and how they choose to live. And by the way, Benny Alice is still going strong, fit as a fiddle. She will be 100 in October of 2020.